useless guy. How could you bless him? Make him advance inside my husband. It can never happen. Nymphomania. Can attempt such a thing with her husband? And, I mean, not, not to talk about a child, but I couldn't have done it. Oh, God, my witness. They accused me of. Oh, God. Oh. Madam, I need somebody to help me look after. Problem. Problem? What type of problem? I had a problem with my landlord's wife. And she threw my things out. Please, can I ask the driver to bring my things down? Most of them are in the taxi. Oh, why not? Thank you. It's all right, blessing. Hmm? What are friends for? You see, I was on my way to a friend's place before you came. Hmm? That notwithstanding, um, this is the key to the room. Oh, try and make yourself comfortable, okay? Till I come back. Oh, good Lord bless you. It is okay, blessing. Hmm? Yes. When I come back, you tell me everything. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I decided to see if I can get him to serve the Lord, you know, to share the word with him. The wife started getting suspicious, you know, started thinking I was dating her husband. Before you know it, she threw my things out. Yeah, it's possible she must have misunderstood you. Hmm? Now, are you sure you didn't do any of those bad things? Ijoma, how can you say a thing like that? I'm a born again, a heavenly daughter. And my Bible tells me in Matthew 5.27, do not commit adultery. Why would I want to covet another woman's husband? Besides, how do you expect somebody who knows the law to go contrary to okay, the law? Don't say a thing like that I again. I no. you. Mm -mm. Now, how do you want me to help you? EJ, you see, the most important thing to me now is shelter. You know? A place to stay before I can get, you know, somewhere of my own. Yes. You see, the problem is that my fiance will be coming to pay my bride price this month and, and I'll be leaving with him for Kaduna immediately. Beyond that, my landlord doesn't even allow two people to share an apartment. And then, then, you know, you can help me talk to him on my behalf. Since you're moving out, I'll just take over the room. I would have loved to bless him, but he has already collected money from another person. Oh, God. The person will pack in as soon as I leave. Hmm? Why don't you talk to some of those your sisters in the Lord? Maybe they can be able to help you. I think you're right. That's what I'll do. Of our Bible study today. Let us call to mind our topic. We 
which is fear. In Psalm 34, verse 4, it says, I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Let's go further to the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 28. It says, do not fear him who kills the body, but cannot kill the soul. But rather, fear him who can kill the soul and the body. Let's move further. In uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, it says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Dear brothers and sisters, once you've become a bar again, operating under his anointing, following his rules, and having understood that our existence in this world is spiritual and not physical, then you do need not fear what an ordinary man will do to you. But fear him, Jehovah, who is capable of killing the body and the soul because he is the creator. That will be the end of our Bible class today. If anyone has a question, please ask. Oh, Brother Isaac, go ahead. My question is on the last quotation. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. Does it mean that God has given us the spirit of power? And also, we should not fear anybody at all. Absolutely. When you become born again, understanding that you have power inside of you, you need not fear an ordinary man. Because God has equipped you to overcome. That will be the end of our class today, like I said. We'll meet again next Tuesday. Please stay in the Lord. You're blessed. You know, as I've been telling you, I really appreciate it if you can help me. You know, if Sister Ijoma were not packing out, there wouldn't have been any problem. Just a blessing. I've been trying my best. It's just that I... Please help me. Please. There's this sister wearing red bubba in, in class today. Um, you mean Sister Loretta? Mm -hmm. What about her? You see, they have lots and lots of houses in town. And they are too benevolent. They've been helping a lot of people from this church. Yes. I think I'll take you to the husband. Just like that? Mm -hmm. How am I sure he won't turn down my request? Sister Blessing, where is your faith? You don't have to despair. Let's see him first. Um, how do I get introduced to him? You know, can we just find some other way? We we'll meet the Reverend Pastor. Okay. There's nothing he cannot do for him. Moreover, he's a very strong member of this church. Let's say him first. Thank you, Sister Kate. God bless you. That sister who led you in the Bible study class has serious problems and needs help urgently. Problems? Problems. Is there anything I can help with? 
how do I qualify it now? Whether to call it a big problem or a small problem? Anyway, she has a housing problem. Housing problem? Housing. Then she has no problem. Uh, boys quarters is vacant. Well, she can easily move in there. In Jesus name. Amen. But let me speak with my husband first. Naturally. He has to give his consent. Yes. I mean if we can do it for non-Christians, I don't see why I can't do it for my sister and the Lord. Sister Loretta, I thank you. May God bless you again and again. Amen. Pastor, that girl is blessed. She's wonderful. She has the Bible on her fingertips. I'll speak with my husband. Thank you so much. <laughs> Responsible. I'm not comfortable. I mean, with this this girl is born again. Why are you trying to associate her with questionable characters, relatives, things getting missing, and all that? Come on, honey, let's give her the room. Please, let me, let me just think this over. I, I don't like this arrangement. You know, listen, I don't want us to do anything which we might end up regretting. There's nothing to regret. Listen, honey, you remember eh, the last time you said you wanted me to concentrate in the service of God. And I have nobody else in this house. That's why I want us to bring her so she can help me with my Bible studies. Please. All right, I'll, I'll think about it. But I, I must be frank with you. I, I, I'm not comfortable with this. Yes, um, no, yes, I'll yes. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, I'll think about it. Um, check if, if food is ready. I'm starving already. Check if food is ready. Yes, 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 yes. Just something to drink, okay. please. Oh no, please. Don't worry about us. Reverend, are you sure? Don't want anything. 
Okay. What about sister? I'm all right. <laughs> Did you say so? Yes. So, what brings you to our house? I hope all is well. Well, um... This is the new leader of the Bible study group. Oh, I see. Her name is uh, Blessing. Oh, how are you, young lady? Fine, sir. I'm sure you haven't met her before. No, I haven't. Well, Blessing has a housing problem. Um, Brother Edward, I know you have helped so many people in our church in the past. But I'm asking you to please come to our aid once more. I see. Um, young lady, what did you say your name is? Blessing Oji, sir. Okay, and um, what do you do and where do you come from? Um, I'm a native of Ikwere and I work at BBC Investment Company as a sales girl. Honey, that's the girl I told you about. Can we see briefly? Reverend, just a moment. All right. Uh, You know, I've never refused you anything. This is true. So, I don't intend to refuse you this one. Thank, thank you so much. She can move into our compound. Thank you so much. You know our driver who just got wedded? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, um, he vacated his room. Okay. So, she can move into that room. Oh, oh wonderful. Oh, Great. wonderful. Yeah. Brother Edward, I am not surprised. You're already blessed. God will continue to bless you and your good wife over and over again. Amen. Amen. Darling. I've told you times without number to desist from wearing skirts and blouses when we're leaving this compound. Eh? Please, why don't What's you... What's wrong with what I'm wearing? I don't like it. Look, you have, you have other very nice materials. You have laces, you have George materials. Please, okay. go back into one of them. And please hurry up. We're already late. Please. Hurry up, darling. Good morning, sir. Ah, good morning, Blessing. How are you? I'm fine, sir. I hope there's no problem. There's no problem, sir. Whenever you have a problem, don't hesitate to let us know. Thank you very much, sir. I just wanted to thank you for everything, sir. Oh, that's all right. It's all right. I can see you're about to go out. Yes, just about going out. Oh, good morning, Auntie. Blessing, how are you? Fine, ma'am. You must have settled in properly. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I just want to say God bless you for all you've done. Oh, nothing. Feel at home, okay? We'll be yeah, back fine. soon. My brothers and sisters in the Lord, I'm talking about love. Um, in the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 27, it says, Thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength, and with all your soul. 
and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 2 says, Even though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mystery, understand all knowledge, and have all faiths, but have not love, but have not love, I have nothing. So my brothers and sisters, the Lord has explained to us what love really is. It's better that we follow God's love. And that love is not about going to church. It's not about saying I can pray and move the mountains. It means that if our neighbor offends us, like our brother, our sister, our friend, our business partner, we should learn to have a heart of forgiveness, a selfless love like Jesus had for all of us. God bless you as you have heard this word. Jesus Christ. Well, when does Carmela end this one? It's not this girl that one of my brother, my brother brought from us as a prostitute. Eh? Uh -huh. So you knew this girl? I know her too well. One day like that, I even settled her like that. I even made love to her. Ha! Uh -huh. <laughs> hey! It is not that of place that she may be the one, but she have repented. Uh -huh. Thank God for her. Repent what? Repented. Fashion some of this one against. Yeah? One against that for here. Don't be for here. I don't trust anyone of them at all. Yeah? The one again are for here. In the morning, in the morning, in the morning. When when you were saying it, I, I didn't understand you. Hasten, O oh God, to save me. O oh Lord, come quickly to help me. May those who seek my life be put to shame and confusion. May all who desire my ruin be turned back in disgrace. Oh God, Jehovah Nissi. Contrary spirits may seem powerful, but in the name of Jesus, all other powers will bow. I therefore bind all man-made powers, all dark spiritual forces hovering around this compound. I command you to lose your hold. I say, lose your hold. Oh, Jehovah Nissi, whatever they have gathered, be it in the sea, be it in the forest, be it in the marketplace. 
place, be it at the G junction, Robo Bosakashara Mamase. I say, I destroy in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, whatever that is kept into your hands, you're well able to keep. I commission this compound in your mighty hands. And I say it is well. Father God, I just thank you. I thank you because, Lord, before we ask for anything, you've already known what we want. I thank you because you've granted this request in Jesus' mighty name. And he blessed him such a wonderful girl. <sighs> see, see what we would have missed if, if, if we didn't allow her stay in our big you. Huh? Uh, frankly speaking, I think that boy's quarters is too small now for her. I, th I think so too. But um, it doesn't have to be now. Come on, darling. I didn't say she can't move in now. I was only thinking aloud. Um, but frankly speaking, blessing has been a blessing to this family. You can say that again. Well, there isn't much problem. So I can get you something? Um, no, thank you. Oh. Um, Auntie Loretta, yes. there's something I want to discuss with you. Okay, go ahead. And I hope you take it in good faith. Oh, the joy of the Lord is my strength. I'll go straight to the point. Uh, you see, while observing Midnight Prayer, I got a revelation that there is a problem in this household. You, your husband, and the problem, if not properly checked, will bring about chaos in this family. Well, my sister, we actually have a problem. My husband and I have been married now for over seven years, but have not been blessed with a child. The devil is a liar. Amen. So Auntie, what have you done to get this problem solved? There's nothing we have not done. And there's nowhere that we have not gone to. Would you believe that we went as far as Abriba to see one Okonta guy and another Akbaka? We performed all the rites and rituals, but to no avail. Anyway, as it is now, we have resigned ourselves to faith. God, you are great. Jehovah, you are mighty. You're the Lord of Lords, you're the King of Kings. Auntie, 
It's a pity you people abandoned the right way for the wrong one. But since you've confessed your sin, you've been made clean. The Bible says, Thou shalt stand firm by the truth, and only the truth shall set you free. Hallelujah. It got so bad at one time. My grandmother and the villagers advised that I go to the village and bury something somewhere. The whole ritual came out so fetish. And as a born-again Christian, I refused. Darkness has no power over light. The sons and daughters of heaven need not have any problem. Jesus is the end of all our problems. Auntie, as it is now, we have to conduct serious prayers in the night. Precisely 12 midnight, and your husband will have to be included. We will do that. Yes. And I pray the Lord will bless you for us. And bless you too. Amen. Oh, Lord, you're good. Be praised, be exalted, be magnified. You are the eternal rock of ages. You're wonderful. You're Honey, it's almost midnight. Why don't we ask one of the boys to go and call her? Okay, so for her. Emeka! Emeka! Yes, hey, you sleep too much. Go to the boys' quarters, eh? Go and tell Sister Blessing that we're ready for the prayers so she should come. Yes, madam. Walk like a human being now. Honey, I thank God for giving us blessing. She's such a wonderful person. Talk here. Um, I, th I think we should go to somewhere private. Is that so? Yes, sir. 
Okay, let's let's drive out. Um, no, sir. Why don't we go to my room? I mean, to my side. Okay, just a moment. <clears throat> You see, sir, while we were praying last night, the Holy Spirit ministered to me that your wife is evil mm -hmm. and she has a mission. She came primarily to ruin you and finally kill you. You wouldn't know this, but she's from the Marine Kingdom. And her spiritual husband is worried in the sea. My wife, Loretta, married in the sea? <laughs> of course. See, sir, um, it was also revealed to me that some time ago, she took you to two native doctors, one at Abiba called Okunta. And, uh, and, uh, and, um, the other one called Apaka. All this in a bid to help you get your problem solved. Did you get your problem solved? No. Because they're all in league in the sea. I was also told that um, she has initiated you there. <laughs> And if you still live with her in the same house, you won't last up to the next three months. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, sir. So you see, you have to embark on special and constant prayers. That's why I called you, sir. You mean my wife, Loretta, is evil? So, so what do I do? Ah, Jehovah be praised, be exalted. We overcame him by the blood. So, if you're willing, we'll have to embark on special and constant prayer every Tuesday night in my room here for the next two months. Uh, so, um, you have to find a way of sending her out every Tuesday so that we can have ample time to discuss, you know, share, you know, in the world. Is it not better to send her packing right now? Oh no, sir. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but spiritual indeed. So don't even think of it. Oh God, unless you want to die. Don't forget she's one of the leaders in the marine world. So. Don't let her know that you are aware of her mission. Because if you let her know, she might kill you instantly. Prayers will solve it. Just leave it to me.
show you what's in context. Here. Please, do like I said, okay? No faking. Alright. Bye-bye. I'll get you home. Bye. These things blessing told me. Could it be true? Is it possible that my wife Loretta is an evil woman? Could she be married in the sea? No wonder at times she behaves strangely, especially in the middle of the night. I think Blessing is right. Otherwise, how could she mention their names and their towns? How did she know that my grandmother-in-law was fetish? So, I've been living with a stranger all this while. This Blessing of a girl is really God sent. She's a real child of God. So this woman would have destroyed me but for this blessing that came you through her. I must do something. I must do something fast before it's too late. Daddy! Oh, are you called? No, I didn't. Are you alright? Yes, I am alright. I am alright. Let me continue my study there. God bless me. Oh, sir. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, has your wife slept? The witch. She's sleeping like a log of wood. Ah, mm. uh, yes. Um, before we start, we'll have to read some verses in the Bible. You know, Satan does not sleep a wink. We'll read the book of Psalm. <clears throat> Chapter 35, verse 1 to 3. It says, <clears throat> Contend, O Lord, with those who contend with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take up shield and buckler. Arise and come to my aid. Brandy spear and javelin against those who pursue me. Say to my soul, You are my salvation. Um, sir, we have to pray, but we have to hold hands for agreement prayer. So, let's know them. In Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, your word says that you will provide all our needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So we should go forth and claim our possessions.
Good evening, sir. Sir, good evening. Yes. Can I help you? Yes, sir. I am Brother Jude, and she is Sister Sarah. We're here to share the word of God with you. Yes, sir. Do you know these people? Um, I don't know them, sir. I hope there's no problem. Oh, not at all. We have come to share the word of God with you people. Oh, yes. Um, sir, let them go ahead then. I have a little time to share. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is good. All the time. I'm a witness. Please let us pray. May we all close our eyes. Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high. Oh, Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high God. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, our Heavenly Father, eternal King of glory, eternal rock of ages. We thank you because you are here. We thank you because you are in our midst, oh Lord. As you said in just which are in the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 20, that with two or three are gathered in your name, you are here in our midst. Oh Lord, we thank you because your presence is here. We thank you because you are here in our midst. Receive all honor and all adoration in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we thank you because you are here in the name of Jesus. We bless you because you are in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost fire! I know her! I know her! I know her! You I know her! She's evil! She's evil! I'm going to get to the name of Jesus! You! You! I'm going to get to the name of Jesus! Why are you going to the name of Jesus? Holy Ghost fire! Holy Ghost fire! I'm coming! I'm going to the name of Jesus! Holy Ghost fire! I'm coming! I'm going to the name of Jesus! See from the sea, I know her. Holy God, fire queen. She has a husband in the sea. She has four kids in the sea. You don't have one of them. I'm feeling the boys. Thank you, Jesus. Holy God, fire. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. How can some strangers come into my house, claiming to be children of God, only to tear my home up? Do you know that since that day, my husband has been behaving funny. God. I'm so confused. What sort of temptation is this? Auntie, stop crying. Stop crying. It's okay. But um, let me ask you. Is there any time you have anything to do with Mehmet's spirit? Or do you have children in the sea? God forbid. I never ever dreamt about them. Huh? And it's okay. Wipe your tears. Wipe your tears, eh? You know, this is the handiwork of your detractors. Oh God. Where do I start from? Where do I start from? Just look at this result. Um, uh, has your husband seen this? Has he given me the time? <sighs> it's alright. Auntie. You know, Satan does not sleep a wink. Let us fight Satan. 
Let's go down on our knees and pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty everlasting name of Jesus. Amen. Our God and our Lord, we thank you that you will fight Satan. Oh Jehovah, you are good, you are wonderful. We thank you for everything. Amen? Amen. Sir. So, I got a revelation while we were praying. It was revealed to me that your wife has finally made up her mind to kill you. And if you don't take your time, she may succeed. So you have to send her packing immediately. But, listen, you initially told me that uh, I shouldn't behave as if I knew something was happening and that if she gets to know, she might attempt to kill me. That was then. By virtue of the prayers we've been holding, you've been fortified. So fear not any longer, for he that is in you is greater than he that is in her. In the morning, read Psalm 8 verse 2. After that, send her parking immediately. No sentiments attached. Listen, I, I must say you're such a wonderful person. Uh, I'll send it back in first thing tomorrow morning. It's all right. Uh, good night, then. All right, good night. <laughs> I had better leave before it's too late. From the look of things, it appears it's gonna rain. And I don't want to be here when it starts. God knows I won't be here. Good luck, Loretta. Why you block your womb? 
right? You block your womb so that so that you, you can't conceive, let alone have children. Because the truth is out. I said the truth is out. Light and darkness can never live together. You must leave this house. Loretta, you must leave this house before your spiritual husband comes to kill me. Eddie, 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 please. Don't Eddie me, you witch! I said leave this house. Leave this house! Didn't you hear me? Eddie, please. I have to do it. I am innocent of these accusations. Please just try and remember the past. Remember which past? Which past? The past that was characterized with pain and torture! That's what I should remember. Wait for me, huh? Eddie! Bless him! What happened? At first, I thought it was a joke. And before I knew it, it pushed me out of the house. Alright. Stop crying. Wipe your tears. I 
think I will reserve my comment until I see him. Please. I shall see him this evening. Please, Pastor. Let's see what you can do to help me. I'm no longer myself. What is your fate? What is your fate? Don't you know this could be a test of fate? Pull yourself together. I shall see him. All right? Stop crying. <laughs> Sister Lerota. Yes. Sister Blessing, the devil is at work in my house. He has asked me to leave. Sister Loretta, you shouldn't concern yourself so much with that. See, you should rather concern yourself with the service of God. Embrace God, for the Bible says, Seek ye the kingdom of God first and all things will be added unto you. Mm. Sister Blessing, I'm seeking. But... But what? I have become a laughing stock. People snare at me when I work past. What did Jesus go through? Damn them. All you need is prayers. See, Satan has not slept. And he will not sleep. And you too, you don't have to close your eyes. Hmm? until the battle is over. Shall we pray? Lord, your daughter is ensnared by the enemy. They have put nets around her. But your word says that marriage is honorable in all. The enemy is trying to dishonor her. But Lord Almighty, be Home. Lord of Jesus, listen. How dare you? Huh? How dare you budge into my house like that? Huh? Can't one have privacy in his own home anymore? Edward, get out! I said, get out! Can you imagine that? haven't I done for blessing? I treat blessing the way I'll treat my own sister. Little did I know that she was planning to pay me back, evil for good. Blessing. I am the architect of my own failure. No, you are not. We cannot, because of someone's wickedness, decide to be unkind. I don't blame you. And nobody should blame you. Rather, I blame your husband for making himself so cheap and allowing blessing to come into him. But there is God. There is God. We shall continue to pray. 
Initially, he warned me. He warned me about her, but I insisted. Now, see. See what blessing has become. Oh, blessing. You have ruined my life. Daughter, you have done all you should do as a human being. You don't have to cry yourself to death. It's God. But why should God allow this to happen to me? Knowing that I was only trying to be nice. Sister Loretta, you don't have to blame God. God sometimes allows us to be tempted. Job was tempted. Remember? At all times, he makes sure that we are not weighed down by these temptations. Rather, he always makes way for us, way of escape, so that at the end of the day, we come out of these temptations stronger in faith. I think what you should do now is to go down the village and meet your parents in law. Explain to them everything that has happened. Bless him. Bless him. If I have shown you any kind of wickedness, let that wickedness come back to me. But if all I have done is to show you kindness, you will never know peace in your life. Sister Loretta is so key. God is somewhere watching and listening. Let us leave all these things to Him. Okay? So that is a collective decision. You must have to ask that woman out of your house. What with? And then recall your wife. Apart from that. That lady came into your house through me and I want her to live the same way. Um, first and foremost, let me thank you for bringing blessing into my house. Do you know that she saved my life? Do you know that it was through her that I realized that the witch you call my wife came from the marine world? I'd rather keep my powder dry till the appropriate time. If you are asking me to send my sweet blessing out of my house, it's, it's not possible. It is impossible. In fact, plans are far advanced to pay her bride price. Listen to me, Chief Edward. We haven't come here to listen to your funny tales. What we are saying is this. If you don't want to send that lady out of your house, the church has no other option than to excommunicate you. Do I would rather be excommunicated than send my dear blessing out of my house. Excuse me. Good day. Good day. This letter is from the church. Mm. I'm leaving. So much in a hurry. Um, bye. We, the members of the church council, write to inform you that you have been expelled from the church forthwith. You have to return to the church all its properties that you have custody within the next 48 hours. Wishing you what you wish yourself. B O B Ezwe, Chairman. 
foolish people. As if I had any intention of returning to that church. The main reason for becoming born again was to get my own husband. And Edward is right in my palm. <laughs> when there are so many other churches. Besides, this warehouse near my compound here could be turned into a church. And I have a lovely voice. And I know the Bible inside out. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Goodbye, good <morning> again. <laughs> My husband refused vehemently. I was the one who insisted that he should allow her move into our boys' quarters. But what was his main reason for asking you out of the house? Mm -hmm. That I haven't been able to conceive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And that I have a spiritual husband and a lot of children in the sea. Oh, Edward. Edward. Anyway, I will send for him. So, you mean to tell me that two of them are now living? Nedward, we don't have to blame ourselves for taking the decision he did. After all, they, are, they have been living together for a long time without the, the cry of a baby in that house. And so what? You, ne you should be happy that another woman has come to help you do what the work you cannot do. That is not how to talk. You should try as much as possible to see that nobody is hot. Loretta, my daughter, calm down and wipe your tears. I will send for Edward. I cannot sit back here and watch my sister be maltreated by anybody. It is never done. And let me tell you, even if she committed an abomination, you have no right, I said, you have no right whatsoever to treat her the way you're treating her. It is never done. Calm down, Richard. Take it easy. <clears throat> I know how you feel. But we have to apply caution. It is not in doubt that we gave you our daughter in marriage. And that same daughter we gave you people has come home to complain to us of her bitter experience with the husband. Actually, we are not even supposed to be parties to the problem. But for the fact that the handshake has gone beyond the elbow, that is why we have decided to step in. Hmm. I greet you. Your daughter has come to tell me the same thing. At first, I objected to the action he took. I also promised her I would send for my son to give his own version of the story. We all know that a better verdict is given after hearing from both sides. But I'm surprised that till now, he has not shown up. Nine. I still maintain what I said before. Your daughter should be happy that we brought somebody to do what she couldn't do. What? I want grandchildren. Did you hear her? I told me no one Woman, did you, did you hear her? Did you hear her? 
So, my sister is being rejected because she has not given you a grandchild. Okay. Father, let's go. Yeah. Let us go. Yeah. Calm, Woman, calm, calm, let us go. Let us I have advised you to weigh your words before you what? voice it out. Um, my in-laws, please, you know that women don't think mm? before they speak. Please forget whatever she might have said. My please, Lord, we have had you. Okay, mm -hmm. let us go. Ada, get up, let us go. I don't know why I see anybody. What do you mean? You know why I see anybody? What's that supposed to mean? Did you tell him that his in laws are here? Eh? Answer me now, didn't you tell him? I said, I tell him everything. Small thing, the man wants to me. Say, I mentioned, say, uh, Madam, come with Tona. Listen, huh? my boy. I believe you did not explain it very well to him. Tell him that his in laws are here. We come from the east. Okay? So look me finish, I resemble like I I said I explained everything for my guy. I explained everything. Say no one don't, as I mentioned say, old mother and come with Ona. Come, come see the man face. I said, besides you daddy there, 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 they enjoy with, 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 with the new new madam there. This is sweet. I If it is okay by God, fine. But if it is not, let him avenge your sorrows. Uncle Ekem, is it? Let us go. He has rejected her. But I'm sure that God has not rejected her. Of course. This is not the end of the world. Let us go. Okay. Edward. Edward. I will get you. I will surely get you. Richard, let's go. Hold yourself together. Try and put him behind you. He's not worth it. I know it's going to be very difficult, but you just have to try and forget him. How can I forget him? How can I forget him? Eddie. For better, for worse. That was what we said. You promised me. How can you just abandon me like this? How? My daughter, try to forget him. I know it's going to be difficult for now. But God is the source of everything. If Eddie has forsaken you, forget him. I am your father. Richard here is your brother. We are behind you for everything. Ada, listen to Papa and believe him. 
what we have to try and do now is to get you something so that you will be busy. See, I want to tell you something. Don't you ever let him know about this pregnancy. Do you understand? Good. Good. So, tell us, what would you like to do? Papa, I, I want to thank all of you for the encouragement that you have given to me. Well, I think I'll go back to school and finish up the remaining year. Oh, what are we talking? See, Ada, I personally will take care of your education. Just try to be yourself. Forget about Edward. Put him aside. Beyond that, with the course you are reading, the sky is your limit. Wipe out your tears. I say, wipe out your tears and forget about him. As you know, I and my husband have been married for more than eight years now. And since then, I've not been able to conceive. And my husband is no longer taking it lightly. Madam, but I've told you earlier that from the test we have conducted, that your womb has been tampered with. And uh, it will make it impossible for you to conceive. See, it was occasion by a series of abortions. I mean, you cannot... But, but doctor, is there nothing we can do to remedy the situation? Madam, two options are open to you. Either you adopt a child, or you suggest to your husband to marry another woman. I think you're right. When I get home, I'll tell my husband. Sweetie, that doctor is a two-edged sword. If you look at him, you think he's responsible. But if you get closer to him, you really hate him. But Blessing, you've been going to that hospital for some time now. Uh, why all these complaints? Well, you won't believe this. He attempted to rape me. Yeah. What? Yes. In fact, I heard he does that to all the women that come to the hospital. I just didn't want to tell you all this while. Did I hear you right? Absolutely. Look, you have to stop going to that hospital. Although he's a family doctor, his services will no longer be needed. I mean, no, you, you, you have to start going to another hospital. Thank you. Darling, you, you know I can't afford to share you with anybody. Mm -hmm. I can't. You're wonderful. I know. Uh, <laughs> No. Why? You know, the doctor advised me against that. 
Against what? Um, I saw the doctor this morning. He said um, he confirmed I'm pregnant. Huh? Yes, and um, he said we have to abstain from sex, you know, until I'm delivered off. Jesus, I, 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 look, I, God, you're wonderful. Look, I, I'm ready to start sleeping on this floor till till the baby comes. I hope it's a baby boy. I hope so. Too. <laughs> oh, 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 it, it was, take it easy, don't crash. The I, baby. I, I, I want, I want. Jesus, this, this is the best news I've heard since, since I met you. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> It is blessing. Look, at first she informed me that a doctor had confirmed her pregnant. Mm -hmm. Then, after two months, I accompanied her to see another doctor, mm -hmm. only to be informed that she wasn't pregnant after oh. all, and that she's suffering from an internal disease which will manifest itself later. Uh, go on. We are listening. Mama. You need to see her. You need to see blessing with your own eyes. <laughs> her whole body has started peeling. Huh? I don't even know what kind of what kind of disease she's suffering from. When I was telling you then, you didn't want to listen to me. God knows I won't visit that hospital. Huh? Papa. Uh -uh. But I thought we had settled all this before now. Settled what? I say, settled what? Look, he who brings a maggot infested firewood should not complain if, if the lizards begin to pay him visits. Uh -uh, Nani. He's still our son, no matter what. And we have to stand behind him. Oh, forget that. I'm too weak. I'm going down slowly. Please, Edward. I have a confession to make. So that even if I die, the records will be straight. Blessing. What confession do you have to make? Listen, I am your father today. The duty of every father and mother is to bring up the children with the fear of God. The pride of every woman is her husband. Papa, you have said this thing several times. I've heard it a million times. Look, I am talking out of experience. Mm -hmm. Time will come when you realize all these things. So I am pleading with you to stop the, your ways. Do Papa. not bring this people to this family. Papa, there is nothing wrong with my ways. You keep forgetting that this is the jet age. I'm young now. And if I don't enjoy myself now, when am I going to do that? When I have gray hair? Oh, Papa, please. Oh. Like I said, I am talking out of experience. Please. 
Stop this things you are doing. I don't like it. The family can't, can't you just get it into your head that I won't just bloody care? I have to enjoy myself, brother. Please, excuse me. Okay, please. Oh, I'm all, I'm all. Hey. It's okay. Are you sure? While you are arguing, hmm? please go and bring our money. All right, all right. 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 All right, all what do you mean by that? What I mean is, I am tired of this kind of life for living. Mm. We're not getting any younger. Ah, that's you, that's you. Just, just look at Ngozi. Her first daughter is now in nursery school. In fact, blessing, I am tired. I think we should just think about settling down. Sandy. Sandra. Yes. You see this girl you're looking at? <clears throat> I am not thinking about that perpetual enslavement you people call marriage because this baby she's young she's got to rap and enjoy life <laughs> you forget that thing serious but the man sweet beg, leave that one that I don't know if the man old but you know I'm I don't want to beg I don't want to <laughs> what about him I don't want to <laughs> now you sabi think ah mommy let's think about it but come on girl excuse me Blessing. Yeah? I thought you've given up this way of life. Excuse me? I'm your friend and the only person that can tell you this. Oh. Anyway, I came to inform you that they are coming to pay my diary, 7th of next month. Oh, good for you, darling. You know, you have your life to live and I have my own to live. New wife. I am great. 
embrace the born again syndrome with full force. But on the inside, I was my old self. Is Edward? I'm sorry for all the embarrassment and damages I have caused you and your family. I told so many lies. <coughs> Just to make sure I achieved my aim. Your wife, Loretta. She's a wonderful person. And she has done no wrong. I had to ask you several years ago. Tell her to me because <coughs> she has told me she was pregnant with your child and I told her to conceal it from you. I went about looking for a man to call my own. By twisting the word of God to suit my evil intentions. Hey, mister, where are you going to? Who is going to settle your wife's bills? This woman, she is evil. She is a witch. Oh, Loretta. To trust, you don't know who to trust. People are not what they see. When you do good, they pay you back with evil. Oh Lord, be my witness. Oh Lord, be the George, for the kindness I showed another. My heart is broken, I've lost my joy. Oh Lord, be my witness. Oh Lord, be the George.